Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can buy a VPN using cryptocurrencies and I'm going to show you some tips on how you can make this more private as well. Now using a VPN can help you to hide your IP address when browsing through the World Wide Web as it's going to connect to a different server. This can be in your own country or another country and then it can have its benefits that you can access certain services or websites in general which you may not be able to see in your own country as it is restricted. Restricted. This can be news in general, this can be movies or like episodes or even crypto exchanges. Whatever the reason may be, I'm now going to show you how you can do this and buy it with crypto. So first of all, you need to find a VPN that accepts crypto and there are a few out there. However, in this specific example, I'm going to choose NordVPN as I find it's very simple to go through it and then later on use the VPN. However, if you want to use a different one, that's completely fine. The payment process with crypto will look pretty much the same. I tested a few and it's always like the same process. So you still can watch this video and then go through the steps in your own time. Now, as you can see, we are now on the NordVPN website. So first of all, you need to click on get NordVPN. And if you want to download the NordVPN yourself, I'm going to put the link in the description box down below. Then it's going to ask you to select a plan. Now, currently the first one would be the best offer. However, this can change in the future. So please make sure that you're going to select a plan that applies to you the best. And then go ahead and select it. So now you can see, you can enter your email address right here. Currently it's giving me like two offers of the like NordVPN and the NordPass. However, I just want to get the NordVPN. So I'm going to remove the other one. And then it's going to ask you to select your country, zip code and state. Now you can go ahead and put your personal email address as well as your location in there. However, if you want to like create it a bit more in a private way, well, setting up a private email address is one option and then not choosing the country that you actually live in would be also another point to keep it more private to protect your privacy like who is getting uh, the VPN. Now if you want to know how you can set up a private email address and even go through it through the Thor browser instead of using your usual browser I have a specific video for you in the top right corner and so again if you want to select your country click on it and then it's giving you the options the same would apply to state and then just enter your zip code and then for your email address I'm now going to use a private email address that I'm going to choose so go ahead and edit and then scroll down and then it's going to ask you for cryptocurrencies like of course you have other payment of like options as well but we are looking into cryptocurrencies so select cryptocurrency and then you're going to click on continue to the coin payments in this case click on it And so then it's going to bring you to this page right here so that you can pay your VPN in crypto. Now, of course, you're going to enter your name, like first name, last name, the email address is already there. This can be made up or your personal details, depending on how much privacy you want to have. And then you can scroll down and then you can choose your cryptocurrency. Now, this can be any of them, depending on what you are currently holding. However, if you care about your privacy, you would go with Monet. So go ahead, enter your details and then select Monero to continue. And then click on complete checkout. So and then it will bring you to this site right here. Now, if you have a crypto wallet, you can scan the QR code. Otherwise, you can copy and paste the address where you're going to send the coins to. However, they do emphasize that you need to make sure to send enough to cover the coin transaction fee. And so I'm now going to show you how you can calculate it so that you're going to send enough. So first of all, you need to copy the amount remaining. This is what you're going to send them to pay for the VPN. Then I'm going to like recommend that you're going to open a calculator so that you can already put this number in and then click on plus. And then you can open your wallet so that you can see and figure out what the transaction fee will be. So in this case, I'm going to use Exodus and I have my Monero open. I'm going to click on send. Then I'm going to enter the amount right here. 
and then on the bottom it will tell me the Monero network fee. So I have to calculate this number in so that I'm going to make sure that I have enough when I'm sending it. So copy it and then you're going to go back to your calculator, you're going to add it and then do the calculation and then that's the amount that you're going to send them to cover for the VPN as well as the network fee. Then you're going to put this amount in your wallet and now you need to just enter the address that they have given you on the site. And so then copy the address right here and then enter it right here on the top and then you're going to click on send. Check everything again and then once everything is done you're going to click on send. And so once you've sent it, you're going back to the website and now you're going to wait until the website is going to change. Now this can be within a few minutes. However, sometimes this can take also up to half an hour or much longer than that, which depends on the coin that you have picked as it needs to go through confirmations. Now there's one more point that I do want to emphasize and this is the payment ID as well as the verification code. Now the verification code, it does say save it in case there are any issues with your payment so that you have like a reference and then uh, reach to their help if you should come across any issues so that you then can chat with them and solve the problem. But now we just need to wait and then I will be right back. So then once the payment went through, it will bring you to this page right here and you will receive a confirmation email. Now you know you should receive an email from NordVPN telling you that you can continue with the registration to set up your password so that you then can log into your account. However, if this isn't the case, which can rarely happen, but it still does happen, I recommend going back to their main website and then click on login. And then it will bring you to this page right here and select forgot your password so that you then can set one so that you then can enter your account and so once you have it all set up you're going to go through your account and here you can see an overview when doing this on the desktop now they will give you a QR code where you can scan it so that you can immediately get their mobile app of course you can just immediately go through your Play Store or even like Apple Store and then select your application depending on the device that you have and you can get it for your desktop as well so go ahead and select the specific software um, that you're using. So Windows, Mac, or even Linux, which you can find under downloads right here. Now, once you have downloaded the application, make sure that you're going to log in and then it will bring you to this page right here. So on the top, it will tell you the quick connect, which is going to connect to a server that's nearby, or you can go ahead and select any country right here on the side that you want to connect to, the list is quite long. Now I recommend going through the settings in your own time, which you can find here, find right here on the top where it goes through the general, the auto connect, and then there's also a dark web monitor so that you're making sure that none of your like informations are being leaked on the dark web. And if you're going to click on account, there's one more important point that I want to emphasize, and this is the multi-factor identification. And I recommend adding this to it for more security and then I recommend following this specific guide so that you can set it all up and this is basically how you can buy a VPN using cryptocurrency in a private or not so private way depending on your overall preference and so once you have it set it all up you can go ahead and click on a specific country that you wanted to go to and then there you can browse through the internet and I do hope that you enjoyed this video that you now find it helpful that you're able to set it up I just want to remind you all the links are in the description box down below so that you have immediately access to it and if you now want to know more about like cryptocurrency and how you can set up your accounts how you can get started with more privacy in general I'm going to link some of the videos at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one bye